today. From First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. We're the so-called rock and roll capital of the world, Cleveland, Ohio, at First Energy Stadium on the shores of Lake Erie. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Arizona Cardinals and the Cleveland Browns. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Arizona Cardinals offense coming out here for the first time, and we get a peek at Kyler Murray, the dangerous offensive weapon now in his third season in the National Football League. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If washed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. The receiving numbers for Hopkins a week ago. Six catches, 87 yards, and a touchdown. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. From the 41, Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cards on just two plays have taken the lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From the 10. Penalty markers down on the field. And yeah, they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. <laughs> that holding call set him up with a not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive. Either way, they would take they that would kind take of production. It. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Second and 12, Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Isaiah Simmons leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Mayfield in this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. Throwing, Mayfield. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, 
you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And this is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cardinals have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he can't field it cleanly. It's now a hit and a loose football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. You know, it's great to be a Pro Bowl quarterback, all pro wide receiver. Those guys get all the endorsements. But we've seen a lot of guys carve out a great career as a special teams ace. And it's one of the most important parts of the game. We can talk offense and defense all we want, but the third phase, special teams, that can... And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. Kicks it on the ground with a squib, taken around the 28. They're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But their hope is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Hey, coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Now Mayfield lost the football. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. A.J. Green makes a nice catch for a first down, wearing that familiar number 18. But the uniform, a little bit unfamiliar. He did spend nine seasons in Cincinnati. Was their second ball. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Max Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it down, you punch it in on you. That's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Handoff comes to Chubb. And he will lose 
Huge yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. After getting stuffed on first.